Hey everyone, welcome to the semicolon. This video is a part of the series Data Analytics with Python. And today we're going to implement some ensemble models using scikit-learn. We will also compare their accuracy to the individual learning models so that we can find out how good the ensemble learning models are. We'll implement the concepts we discussed in the previous tutorial like bagging, boosting and multiple model ensembles. So if you do not know what these are, I would recommend you to watch that video first and then come to this. So let's get started with the implementation. I'll start off by importing the libraries like NumPy, Pandas and TestTrainSplit from scikit-learn model selection. I'll import other libraries as and when we use them. For this tutorial, we'll be using MNIST dataset which is quite a standard handwritten digit dataset. So let's separate the labels and the pixels. So labels go into df underscore y and pixels go into df underscore x. And let's split the data set into testing and training data set so that we can train and then measure the accuracy. Let's put that in the ratio of 2 is to 8. So we benchmark our model on decision tree. I choose decision tree because we have a random forest algorithm which is an ensemble of decision tree. So let's measure the accuracy of decision tree and then let's measure the accuracy with random forest just to give you a feel of it. And then let's go on to bagging, boosting and other stuff. So for decision tree, we import the model, fit it with the training data set and the accuracy with the test data set comes out to be around 85% which is ok. So when we check the score with the training data set we find that it is 100% which means our model is overfitting and this is a huge problem with decision tree algorithm. It is quite overfitting over your data. So anyway to give you a feel of how ensemble models improve the accuracy let's implement the random forest classifier which is an ensemble of decision tree as I mentioned before. So we import random forest classifier as usual from the scikit-learn ensemble. So let's try out with 10 decision trees at first and train it with the training data so, and which gives us a score of around 94% which is 9% increase and a huge change. When we change the number of decision trees to 20 and train it we get around 10% increase in accuracy. So this is the improvement in accuracy which ensemble models can provide us with and that is why we are interested in it. So let's move on and implement some of the famous ensemble models on the same data set and measure the accuracy. So we start with bagging or bootstrap aggregation. Let's create a bagging classifier with decision trees. So we want each of our bag to contain 50% of the training data. And that will indicate by setting max samples as 0.5. You can select some features at random. I choose to select all and the number of decision trees we choose is 20. We train it on the training data set and find the score. So it takes a little time to train as we are training 20 decision trees. And the score is around 94% which is again 9% increase when compared to the normal decision tree algorithm. So let's move on to boosting which is little change in bagging. So the name of the algorithm is ADA boost and let's implement on 10 decision trees. Let's create an ensemble of 10 decision trees with boosting with ADA boost. So the learning rate here shrinks the contribution of each individual learner and this parameter should be tuned when our model is overfitting as ADA boost generally overfits the model. The score is around 85% which is very similar to the decision tree. Even when the estimators are reduced by half that is 5 decision trees it gives us the same accuracy. So now looking at what went wrong and why our accuracy is exactly the accuracy of a decision tree we can find out that our model is overfitting. Since the score of training set since the score on the training data set is 100% the model did not find any point in our data set where there was an error and it stopped the process. 
So we get the same 85% accuracy as of decision tree. But if we choose a classifier which does not overfit the data like decision trees does, boosting can well boost the accuracy of your model by a great factor. I'll leave it for you to test out. You can pick up the code from the links below in the description and modify it. Also, if you have trouble understanding boosting and bagging, I would suggest you to go back to the video where I explained different ensemble methods. So, if we look at the bagging classifier score on the training data set, we find it to be little lower than what the decision tree had. So, boosting helps us in reducing the overfitting and variance of the model. So, we can implement our own ensemble model to have multiple machine learning algorithms. So, this is done through voting classifier. Let's create a voting classifier made up of three different base classifiers. Let's choose them to be logistic regression, decision trees and support vector machine. The support vector machine will have a polynomial kernel of degree 2. We import the relevant libraries to support support vector machine and logistic regression and create the voting classifier with three different classifiers. And we make the voting hard, that means votes are on the labels and not the probabilities. So let's train our model with the training data set. When I tried it on my machine for the first time, I had to wait for almost 30 minutes for it to give result. So let's reduce the size of the data and train it only on the first 4000 of our training data set and measure the accuracy. I expect a little lower accuracy because of the reduction in training size. And after it is done training, we get an accuracy of 91% with just 4000 data points, which is better than the accuracy of decision tree trained on a full data set. So this is how ensemble learners can help us achieve better accuracy. That is it for this tutorial. You can find the code in the links below. And if you like this video, don't shy away from showing it to us by hitting the like button. Your subscriptions mean a lot to me and will encourage me to make more and more videos. Thank you.